Hello friends, what's up? I'm back here with another live transforming video for you. By the way, how did you find the last video I did with our first guest on the vlog, Mr. Shenwu on e-commerce? Honestly, the feedback has been so amazing and I look forward to hear many more success stories from all the action takers who learn from the videos we create right in this vlog. Today, I'm doing something really, really interesting and spectacular. And the focus of today's video is how to create a profitable freelancing business online. I'm very passionate about this topic because it's a niche that avails everyone with a specialized skill the opportunity to make money for themselves online, offering whatever skills they have as a service globally on the internet. Okay, this skill it's really, really, sorry, this niche is really, really lucrative. And to ensure you are one of the beneficiaries of this opportunity online, I have gone out there to invite a proven guest who has a lot of success stories under his belt on this niche to come and teach you how you can kickstart a profitable freelancing business for yourself right here in Nigeria. Without any further ado, I'll quickly invite Mr. Uche to come and talk to you about online freelancing. Hi. Yeah, hey. welcome, bro. Hello, guys. My name is Uche Nick, and today I'll be focusing on the topic right here on the board, which is how to create a profitable freelancing business online. And I need to pay attention because if you follow what I'm going to teach you in this training, you're going to be able to generate millions of naira from yourself yeah, so sitting true. right on your system and replicate what I do. So stay tuned for this training. If you need a pen and a paper, get them out because I'm going to give a lot of valuable information which I would advise to take action on. So right now we're going to get started and um, let's go. Hello guys and welcome back. So if you have been around the world of internet marketing, you must have heard about freelancing before now. But if you are new to the concept of freelancing, it's as simple as this. Freelancing is rendering services to people and getting paid for those services. So today, we are mentioning the word here, online, because I'll be showing you how you can do this online right from your computer. And if you have any skill like graphics designing, web designing, um, digital marketing, any skill that you can sell or you can submit your results online, you can actually apply that skill to freelancing because all you need to do is move your business from your typical um, offline model and then you move it online where everything is easier, more simple, and then you are exposed to get access to a worldwide reach of customers who are willing to pay you for your services. So I'm going to be breaking it down into three steps and then we will go through those three steps and at, at the end of the video i'll also hop onto my system and then i'll give you an over the shoulder view of how this should be done so i'm going to start with this the first step is finding a hot and in demand skill so firstly you need to find a skill that is hot Okay, um, how do I mean by a skill that is hot? Um, a hot skill is a skill that people are willing to pay for. And in my experience, in the over three years I've been freelancing and working with people, the kind of skills people are willing to pay for are skills that enhances their business. So I'm going to write that under here. Skills that enhance businesses. Okay, so what kind of skills are we talking about here? Skills like graphics designing, because when people want to go for marketing campaigns or they want to brand their business, they're going to need graphic designs. Skills like web design and web page designs, like funnel designs. Why? When people want to sell, when people want to reach out to clients online, they have to take their business online. They need a website. Skills like writing business proposals for people, 
Why? When people want to go for contracts or they want to go to uh, meet a client or an investor, they need to show them something. And if you can provide these hot skills that enhances business for people, then you are positioning yourself in a place where there is going to be a lot of inflow of money. And the main reason for this is because people won't hold back. People are willing to invest in whatever is going to grow their business exponentially. And if you can position yourself in these skills, like I said, then you have a hot skill right there. Secondly, I'm going to be talking about positioning yourself as an expert. Okay. So, b first of all, being an expert doesn't mean you have to know everything because the truth is no one single person knows everything. But being an expert means being knowledgeable, being um, um, aware of what happens in your niche or in your industry. So, Positioning yourself as an expert is going to mean that you need to get out there, you need to get information, you need to know what's happening, you need to know what are the trends in your particular industry. So for example, if you're a graphic designer, you will know that material design and minimalistic designs are what is in trend now. So for you to be an expert, you need to follow up what's happening. Being an expert is as simple as opening your phone, your laptop and hopping onto Google and researching what is a book in your particular um, uh, chosen niche or your chosen skill. So it's very important to position yourself as an expert because you will meet clients who are going to want to tell you things that might not be right for them. So if you go on and forget that you're supposed to be the expert and you let them influence your decision or your choice on the kind of things you should do for them, then it's going to affect the results or the product you're going to create for them. And when the product is bad, they wouldn't care you listen to them. They want something good. So it's your job to let them know that this is what is good for you and this is what is not good for you. So that's what I mean by positioning yourself as an expert. Then the third step I'll be talking about is finding hot paying clients. Finding hot clients or high paying clients. So, high paying clients are clients who are willing to pay good amount of money because um, there are types of clients. You have clients who want to stress you and pay little. You want to avoid such people. You have clients who have too much job and um, um, they do not have enough money. So, you're looking for people who have jobs to do but they are willing to pay good amount of money because your aim is to get less done and get paid for more. So I'll also be showing you how to find hot clients and how to tap into um, a wealth of clients and where they are readily available to you. Okay guys, welcome back. So let's dive deeper into the training. So first thing I'll be talking about now is being a freelancer. And our focus here would be Fiverr.com. If you have heard of freelancing before now, you'll be familiar with Fiverr.com because it's one of the most friendly freelancing platform you can get into. There are others like Upwork, there is Freelancer, there is Elance, there is Guru.com, and there is a lot of others. But for today, we'll be focusing on the one which is going to be easiest for you to get started with. Mind you, from the beginning of this training, I mentioned that I want you to take action as easy and as fast as possible. So I'm going to be giving you the fastest route to get started. So you don't have any excuses because I want to see success stories. So being a freelancer, Fiverr.com. What is Fiverr.com? Fiverr.com is a marketplace for freelancers. So how does it work? You list yourself as a freelancer on Fiverr buyers who have services to do they come there and they hire you you get paid through the platform and it's a very simple process why would i advise you to use fiverr.com because number one fiverr.com makes it easier for you to reach customers worldwide so 
this platform is where you can get customers from the United States, from Canada, from anywhere in the world. And all you need to do this is sit on your laptop in your house. All you need is internet, no stress, no plenty talks. All you need to do is communicate with the client. Number two, Fiverr protects you and protects the client. What does this mean? Fiverr is going to be the middleman. Fiverr is going to act as an escrow. So when you get a job started, the customer has to pay first because trust is built when there is payments. If there are no payments, Fiverr doesn't recognize it as any job has started. So once the customer makes the payment, Fiverr.com holds the money. And when you're done with the job, Fiverr releases the money to you. So Fiverr acts as an escrow. Then number three is also reliable. Fiverr has been there for over 10 years. So it's a platform that is serving and it's going to keep serving why the customer gets satisfaction you the client you get satisfaction and fiverr gets their own percentage out of the entire business and speaking about their percentage i'll let you know how much percentage they charge towards the end of this um, list because we have a section for payments down here then let's go to the next step which is being professional being professional means getting your profile right. So when you hop onto Fiverr, and you don't have to be worried because everything I'm saying, I'll also show you on my system. So when you hop onto Fiverr, you need to create a seller profile. Your seller profile is where you're going to put in your name, you're going to have your image up there, you're going to have your nationality and some other little details about you, nothing too personal. And then on your profile, you can get to list what kinds of service you render. So when a customer comes to your profile, they see the services you render and all they need to do is, okay, chat you up if they need this service or if they need that service or whatever. So you need to know how to be professional, how to professionally um, package your profile and this is going to be in a few steps. First, you need to have a proper profile picture of you. So you need to look good. You don't have to be anything extraordinary. Just a nice dress, a good haircut, simple. If you're a girl, um, make your hair well, just dress simple. It's a passport kind of photograph. So it's just like a profile picture on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. You upload your picture. And then next, you will need to put in your educational qualification. Before you get scared, nobody cares really whether you do it or not. It's just a criteria. So even if you don't feel like you have the educational qualification for what you want to get to do, for example, you studied engineering or you studied law and you want to hop onto Fiverr and help people write business proposals or do a graphic design. You didn't attend the school for that, but it doesn't matter. You can still fill in what qualifications you have on you. And if you don't have any qualifications, it's still fine. What people want to see is how good can you get the job done? How fast can you deliver? That is what clients are most excited about. They don't really care about your qualifications and your school. What else do you need to put there um, on your profile to look professional? You need to put a professional description of yourself. So you need to say something like, hi, my name is this, and I'm an expert in this, and I can help you do this, 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 this for your business. And then you talk about the results they are going to get because everyone is looking for results so if you say i'm a graphic designer you need to let them know what kinds of results they can get from your service so you could say i will help you help you position your brand as a blah 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 in your field with the proper branding so you need to speak to them in a way that they are going to see the results and the value which you are providing for them not just what you're going to do for them because the customer don't really care all they want is results. Then, next I will talk about skills that sell. Skills that sell. So, like I mentioned earlier on this video, I said that if you want to make good money as a freelancer, you need to focus on skills that enhances people's business. So, um, people are willing to pay for a skill that would directly impact the result or the income they make from their particular for that particular business they are doing so for example if someone has a blog and he posts every two weeks 
he's going to be excited if you can write a blog post for him and he's posting it on his blog. But another thing I will talk against blog writing blog articles is it's a cheap commodity because it's not direct. So a better example for this would be a sales letter. If you write a sales letter for someone, what is a sales letter? It's a letter that is going to speak to a customer, tell them about someone's product and service and persuade them to buy. So if you can write that kind of article for someone, a sales letter, they would be interested in, um, in what you're doing and they'll be willing to pay good money. So you don't want to go for scales where people are going to be paying you $20, $15. You want to be able to go for where you can charge as high as $500 to $1,000 for a single gig, for a single service. And this is why I will tell you to focus on skills that sell, skills that enhances business directly. Another idea I'll give you, another skill I'll give you here is website design. <clears throat> website designs will always sell because people are either getting a new business started, they need a website, rebranding their business, they need to rebrand their website, or getting a website for an existing business. These three things will always happen no matter what time of the year, no matter what age we are in. And despite there is a lot of website designing too, we have Wix, we have WordPress that claims to be as easy as ABC. Trust me, people want to focus on the 80% that matters in their business. Sorry, the 20% that matters in their business because that's where the result comes from. A man who runs a... Um, a baking business wouldn't want to start fiddling with website design. Why? To him, his productivity is in creating bread, not in having a website. Despite it's going to increase his sale, that's not where his result comes from. He gets more results from creating quality bread for people. So the 80% which they don't want to touch is where you're going to come in. People would need to help them with their websites. So website design is going to be a skill that you can sell at any time and another skill i'll give you today is uh, i mentioned graphics i've mentioned writing i've mentioned web design another skill is video editing if you know how to edit videos if you know how to create good videos there's also a market for you on fiverr.com because videos will be needed every day reasons being people will rebrand people will create new products and people who want to get an old product online so if you can create videos using some simple video tools, it could be animation video, it could be a whiteboard video. If you can get this done, people are willing to pay you huge money just for this service. So um, when I hop onto my system, I also give you more ideas of skills and how you can detect a skill that has a high potential. Next, I'll talk about flipping. Um, what is flipping? Flipping is when you can't do the skill but you can get the job. So for those of you who feel like, Uche, I don't have this skill, I don't know how to do this, I don't know how to learn this, or I'm too busy to learn this, flipping is where you can also make money. Why is flipping where you can make money? Because you can sort for clients and get people to do the job. Let me break this down. For example, you have a friend who knows how to do logo designs, and you feel like you're too busy to learn because of course you have something else you're doing or you don't have the time or you don't have the interest. What can you do? Flipping. How do you get this done? You register on Fiverr, create your profile, list logo design as a service that you render. So when you get jobs, all you need to do is push it to your friend or whoever around you who does logo design. So if that person charges as low as 3,000 Naira or let me say $5 for a single logo design you can go on fiverr and list your service for ten dollar or fifteen dollar or twenty dollar or whatever you want you just have to put your own markup on what this person charges you and if you have a good deal the person can charge you very low because he knows you are a middleman and he wants to get small job done so if you can get the person to charge low and you can put a good markup on your gig then you can make good money from flipping without touching anything. But mind you, it will never be as profitable as when you're doing it on your own. Then, next I'll be talking about 
communication. Clients are people like you and me. Clients are people who are ordinary people and they want a good customer service. So when clients come to you, how do you communicate with them? How do you get them excited? How do you communicate what you do? How do you enlighten them on your service? First of all, a client coming to you most times knows what he wants. He might not be an expert, he might not know how to get it done, but he has a picture on his mind, which is the result I told you about that you need to sell to them. Your client always has a picture in mind, which is the end result. For example, if you build a, you, are, you create websites, a client coming to you knows that he wants a website that looks like this, 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 for example, or that has this, this, this content on it to showcase his service, or it has a buy button here, it has an about us page, it has a contact page, it has um, a home page. So they know what they want, they have the results. So how do you carry yourself from being the guy they just met to the guy who has a result for them? How do you carry them across that journey? That's why communication with clients is very, very important. So we, you have gone on Fiverr, you have created your profile, and then you have gotten a skill that sell, and now you want to communicate with clients. The first step in communicating with clients is having your gig created on Fiverr. How do you get this done? When you create your Fiverr account, first of all, you just create a normal account, and then you have to go in and click on Become a Seller. Become a Seller now takes you to a page where you can create your seller profile, which is where you have to be professional about your profile, I talked about earlier. So on your profile, you need to uh, be professional. Being professional is the first step of communicating with your clients. Because when your clients land on Fiverr and they see your profile, they are not chatting with you directly. They are not chatting with you, they are not texting you. They don't know what you can do. They don't know really what you do. So the first step of communicating with your clients is your professional profile. How professional does your profile look? How good does your gig setup look? So after I've created your profile, like I said, the next step of communication is your gig setup. How do customers understand your gig? So for example, on your profile, you're a graphic designer. And then you have two different services. You create logos and you create banners. Someone might come to your page for a logo design, the other guy might come for a banner design. So that is where you have different gig set up. Your gig is your particular service you are rendering. So you can have multiple gigs on your profile, despite our advice not to have more than three, which are all related. So you do not look like a jack of all trade. You look like an expert because if you go on to put a graphic design gig, a web design gig, a writing gig, a um, whatever I go to, like several gigs. Anybody who comes to be like, this guy is just a hustler. He doesn't have any direction, which is always, always comes back to positioning yourself as an expert and being professional. Don't flood your profile with several services. Focus on one service, one type of service, and then have different variations of that particular service. So when you create your gig, you need to put a very attractive gig picture which is going to attract the customer. It could be a picture of you in a corporate dressing, which always attracts people, or a picture related to the particular service you are creating or you are selling. So if you are a website um, um, creator, you could put a picture of a nice looking website on a computer mock-up, on a laptop mock-up, which is going to be attractive. Why? You're showing them the end result. Always show your customers the end result. It gets you the most engagement. So when you create your gig, you also need to describe your gig. What do you offer? How long does it take to be completed? What, um, what information do you need from them? What are the little, little things, the little, little details inside that gig you are rendering? So when a customer clicks on it, when a customer lands on it, he knows what he's getting. He knows how many days it's going to take. If he wants two logo designs, he knows how much it's going to cost to get an extra logo design. If he wants a banner design and he wants the raw file, the Photoshop or the Corel raw file, how much will it cost him to get access to his raw file? Those little, little information 
put it together because your customer needs to see that on the gig when he's landing and when he's trying to order from you. Then the main part now, let's land back to the proper communication with your clients. When the client lands on your page, sees your gig, most times they don't want to just go and order, which they can do, but because people want to communicate with you, people want to have this human in between and not feel like they're just communicating with a platform. So they will always want to jump in and send you a message. And for this to be effective, I would advise that you go to your Play Store, if you're using an Apple device or an, or an Android device, you can get the Fiber app from the App Store. That way, whenever the client sends you a message, you get a notification on your phone. And all you need to do is open the app and chat with the customer. So you need to be hands-on, you need to be ready to discuss with them whenever they communicate because if they send you a message and you don't reply them in two, three, four, five, six hours, there is a hundred and one probability that by the time you come back to reply, they have given it to the next guy who's online because nobody wants to waste time. These are people who have businesses to run. So whenever they message you, you have to be willing to reply them. This boils down to why you need to have the fiber.com application on your phone. And when they send you a message, you need to be polite and you need to be direct with them. No um, unnecessary pleasantries. These people just want business done. But mind you, they are normal people like you are nice. So they are nice. It's not a scary thing to chat with them. But you just go straight to the point. If they ask you, hello, um, can you help me create a logo for my website? My business name is da 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 da. And I want a, web, I want a logo that is going to portray what I do. You say, okay, what are your brand colors? So you need to also communicate with them because most times when they come, they just tell you what they want. They forget to tell you what you need, what they need to give to you to get what you want. So you need to know how to communicate to get all the information from them. You ask them, what do you want it for? Um, what are your brand colors? How soon do you need it? And when they give you all this information, you can put it together and you can tell them, okay, go to my gig and order this or go to this and do that. But here's another secret. Whenever they chat you up and ask you for pricing, you can give them a custom offer. What is a custom offer? Custom offer is an offer you create for that particular client. So if a client comes and says, I want this, 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 and on your gig description, what you have to offer is either less than that or above that, you can give them a custom offer and say, okay, this is what I'll charge you to get this done for you. And then they could say, okay, send me your custom offer. And right there inside the Fiverr platform, you can send them a custom invoice, which they will just pay with their card. And in a few seconds, you can start your job. So you need to be very aware about communication because if you lack good communication with the clients, you will be missing jobs that can pay you very, very well. So the next step, I will be talking about presentation and delivery. It's one thing to get the job, it's one thing to communicate with clients, it's one thing to be professional. But when you're done with the job, how do you create an after-service satisfaction for your customers? This is where presentation and delivery comes in. You want your customers to have this wow effect when they first see your job. So first rule, you don't give them a rough sketch as a presentation because when you give them a rough sketch, whoever you're giving is going to judge from what he's seeing. So the customer is going to be like, this doesn't look good. And once they are already having a negative feeling, everything is already going down. So to keep their mind upbeat, to keep them interested, you have to present your job in a way that it is very, very appealing to the customers. How does this mean? If you are a graphic designer, you will be familiar with the word mock-up. If you're not familiar with the word mock-up, I'll just call it packaging. So mock-ups are digital representation of your work. So if you design a business card for someone or you design a logo, you need to put that mock-up on. How would this logo look on a car? How would this logo look on a business card? How would this logo look on several other marketing materials which they might have, maybe a t-shirt, their office building, a signboard. So you could just do one or two mock-ups. And then where the customer is looking, he's not just looking at a skeletal or a logo that's floating in the air. He's seeing how the logo is going to look when it is put on a marketing material because the logo isn't just to sit on the system. These guys are in business. They're getting the logo done 
so they can use it for a marketing material. So if you can give a proper mock-up to your customer and let them know that this is what your job is going to look like when you're using it, then you have won their hearts already. Apart from paying you, they need to feel good about paying you because the truth is, if your customer don't feel good, they can easily go ahead to cancel the order and Fiverr will refund the money to them. And then your time, your energy, and everything must have been a waste. So you need to let them feel good about the job you are presenting to them. And delivering. So um, delivering your job on Fiverr is as simple as sending a message because the platform has created everything which you need to properly deliver your gig. So when you create a gig and when you start communicating with Fiverr with clients, there is a place you can go to upload your work for delivery to the client. So this key, this is the key to getting satisfaction from the client. Your job might be shitty, but when you present it properly, they will not feel upset. They will go on to correct you and say, sorry, I don't like this here, I don't like this here, but I like how it looks. That's how the discussion is going to go because they have gotten satisfaction, but now they have little objections, which is what you want. You want to increase satisfaction and reduce objections. So even if they have one or two objections, don't worry. It's still good. You just need to make sure they do not go ahead to look for how to cancel their job from Fiverr.com because Fiverr will obviously return the money to them. Next stage, I'm talking about how do you get your money here in Naira. This is a question that a lot of people have been asking me. How do I get my money? How do I get paid? Is this real? Is this Ponzi? Is this a Ponzi? And several questions that will just boggle your mind. But like I always tell you, Fiverr is a real online business that has been there for years. It's not a Ponzi scheme. It is not any um, kind of trick. It's where you go to render service. So getting paid is a very important, of, important part of the whole system. So how is this done? Using a payment platform called Payoneer. So Payoneer.com is a payment platform where you can get your money paid. How does this work? <clears throat> Now we are in this section of payments, I will let you know how everything goes, how the flow goes from this. So, when the customer pays you for your job, after you have convinced the customer to get the job done with you, when the customer pays you for the job, for example, the customer is paying you $100, or let me say $200, Fiverr has a percentage in your money. So it's not free, it's a business where you have to remit something to the platform for using their platform. So for every job you do, they will be taking 20% off your proceeds. So if you're charging a customer $100, what gets to you is going to be $80 because they will take 20% before it even gets to your hand. So after your customer has received the job and he is satisfied, he will go on to click on a button that says um, accept, meaning he has accepted your work to be what he wants. And once he clicks that button, Fiverr is going to start processing your payments. So when the payment is with Fiverr and the customer says, I'm comfortable with the job, it will take Fiverr two weeks before the money gets to you. That two weeks is an insurance period. So for example, if you build a website for a client and the website breaks down in two weeks, the client can come back and complain to you and ask you to help them out. And if you do not help them out, they can go back to Fiverr and Fiverr can cancel it. Despite the money has been taken from them, the money can be refunded to their bank accounts. So that is um, um, an insurance period. And after two weeks, the money lands on your Fiverr account and you can process the money and push it straight to your Payoneer account. To create a Payoneer account is very simple. All you need to do is go to Payoneer.com. Payoneer is P A Y O. N -E -E -R .com. and on Payoneer.com you can create your um, Payoneer account and you can also get Payoneer to ship down a MasterCard to you down here in Nigeria or whatever country you're watching this video from. So with that MasterCard you can make online payments or you can decide to push the money from your Payoneer account to your domiciliary account here in Nigeria and then you can change the money, you can go to your bank over the counter, withdraw the dollars Take it to wherever exchange you want to go to your exchange. So it's a simple process that flows and your money goes from being in the client's pocket to coming down to your bank account in whatever country 
you are residing and if you're in Nigeria it's as simple as having a dumb account with any of the banks available there and you can receive your money then this is the very important part of this training because a lot of people don't be come don't, are not truthful when it comes to telling you what to do to grow your profile as a freelancer on Fiverr or on any other platform at all. People just um, go around and just tell you things that don't work. But today I'll be revealing the secrets which I have used that has worked for me and has also worked for a lot of my students whom you will also be introduced to because um, um, we, yeah, we have a forum where we always um, chat on WhatsApp. So growing your profile is very important because when customers land on Fiverr, Fiverr has a rating system, a five-star rating system. So one star means you're not good, five star means you are good. And Fiverr will also show how many reviews you have. So if you have done job for 10 people and those 10 people have left a review for you, Fiverr will make that review available for anybody who is coming to hire you. So this is why you need to get your customer to be satisfied with their delivery. Why? So they leave a good review for you. And that review is going to go on to help you get more jobs. So for example, someone lands on your page and then he goes to your review and he sees the last four, five, six people you did the job for being like, whoa, this guy is good. He did everything to the last letter. He was communicative. He was nice. He was patient with me. And I love my job. I love the job he did. And I'll definitely use him again. How do you think that person is going to feel? They will feel like they are in the right hands with you when it comes to that job. But if they land on your profile and they are saying things like, this guy is a scam, he didn't do a good job, he, um, um, he was not communicative, and he just did anything for me, trust me, they will leave you and run away. So this is why this will also bring you back to how do you communicate with your clients? How do you close down the job you are doing with them? So first of all, the first step in growing your profile is making sure that you are good at what you do you don't have to be when i mean good i don't mean 100 percent good i mean good to the extent that your customer would accept the job because most people coming to these platforms don't know how to do what they're asking you to do so it's not hard to impress them you just have to get the job done so you need to make sure your customer is satisfied so they give you a good review when they are done with the job and if they are not satisfied no problem. You can tell them what do you want done and they get to give you the changes and you change it before they leave a review for you. Another way to grow your profile is a little secret which I'll be sharing with you. So pay attention. If you need to write this down, get your pen, get your paper and write everything down. So growing your profile, um, the easiest way to get started is getting people around you to buy from you. So, for example, you create your Fiverr gig profile and you're new. You have no review, you have no job done, you have nobody that is going to vouch for you when a new customer is coming. So, it's going to be hard for you to get new customers. But here is what you do get your friends, your family members, talk to them. If you have to give them the money they're going to use to buy your gig, you just pay them and they should buy the gig for you. Why? So they can leave a good review for you. This is not cheating the system, it's actually boosting yourself, boosting your profile. So instead of waiting for customers to come, see your page and not like what they see, you can get your friends, your neighbors, your whoever is in talking terms with you, you can tell them, hi, this is what I'm doing now. Can you help me do this, do this, do this? I'll pay you for the money I'm gonna charge you. That way you get you easily get started and you have some reviews on your profile so this is a very important part of everything here because if your profile is not looking grown if your job it doesn't seem like you are really doing jobs for people most people will want to hire you because people like to deal with people who are already doing something customers don't want to test their money with you they don't know if you're going to get the job done if you're going to scam them if you're going to run away or anything so they always want to see that your profile is growing before they invest their money in giving you a job to do. So this, I must repeat, is a very important part of being a freelancer. Okay guys, so if you have watched this video to 
this section. Congratulations to yourself because you have shown that you are serious. And uh, I like to see people who are serious because despite all this information I've given to you, if you are not taking action, if you are not proactive, if you are not serious, it's as good as nothing at all. Um, a wise man once said that a man who knows how to write and does not write is as good as a man who doesn't know how to write. So if you have all this information and you do not use them, you are as good as someone who didn't watch this video. So the key to seeing results from everything I've said is taking action, being persistent, and following up. If you need to do research, if you need to Google out stuff, feel free, go ahead. So now I'll be hopping on to my system so I'll show you everything I have talked about visually so you can understand how this works, how the platform looks like, and what you can do when you hop on there. So, um, the next few seconds, I'll be getting onto my laptop and I'll show you everything. So, join me. Okay, guys, welcome back. So, this is Fiverr.com and this is a freelance platform I have been yapping about and talking about. So, um, I'll be showing you why I just spoke on the video so you see how it goes. So, when you land on the platform, you can see the variations of services that you can render. Graphics, digital marketing, writing, translation, video animation, music and audio, programming and tech, business, lifestyle, and a lot. And you can go and study and if you're feeling confused, I would advise you to do this. Go to fiverr.com. When you scroll down a little, this menu is going to appear. So you can, under each of these menus, there are, there are several services and new services are always coming up. You can see industrial, industries is new. So you can see there is always going to be something you can do. So all you need to do is glance through, move over to logo and branding look through here that was something you might be able to do go to digital marketing go to writing and translation there's a lot of money in writing also this is something i must tell you if you are writing business articles or business proposals there is a lot of money so you can find somewhere where your skills will fit in or it's never too late to learn all you need to do to learn a new skill is go to youtube.com and you can learn virtually anything you want to learn on the internet. You want to learn how to write, how to do a graphic design, video editing. There is going to be one course or more courses on Fiverr that will show you every single thing you need to know. So um, you can come to Fiverr and search for, um, let me say, how to edit videos if you want to do video editing how to edit videos i skip okay okay come and search how to edit videos and you'll see trainings you will see um everything you need to get started as you can see there are a ton of training so for Editing on your phone, editing on your laptop, and everything you need to know about editing videos. So back to Fiverr. Once you know what you want to do, you can come to here, click on become a seller. And then you can see the seller stats they have. And there's a lot of money to be made. So all you need to do is go through study to find out what works for you and then click on get started and then you register putting your email so we'll be doing your registration right now so let's create an account we we'll click on get started put in your email click on continue And then choose a username. So you say 
please. Okay. See this one web design. Okay, this one is too long, so we have a limited character. So we'll leave that page web designs. And then we'll create a password. get a password combination right so we click on join okay ready to start selling on Fiverr here is a breakdown learn what makes a successful profile career profile publish your gig So you can read all the text here so you get a better understanding, but I'll just skip that because I've seen that a million and one times. So now, this is where you create your profile. You put in your first name, your last name, put in a profile picture, Preferably a picture that would show your face. Preferably a picture that would show your face. So let's try this. And describe yourself. Okay, so you can see how I describe myself and I'm still waiting for the upload to go in. It doesn't seem to be going, it seems very slow. Pick your language, which of course English. If you're good at French or any other language, also indicate in there because it would be to your own advantage. So I'll put native bilingual because we speak English in my country, Nigeria. And we can click on continue. I doubt they'll let us continue without the image being fully uploaded. Let's try picking another image. Let's see if it's going to go through. Okay. Okay, the image is taking forever to upload. Seems like the network is terrible right now. Okay, this picture is in. Let's try going to continue. Okay. Add. Okay, we didn't add this, so now we can click on continue. Fine. So we are on the next page now, and on this page we will fill in our occupation. What what niche are you going into? So I'll pick um, programming and tech, and I'll pick 
e-commerce website wordpress because that's what i'm going for so depending on what you're going for you pick and i'll pick bi started so i've been doing website design since 2015 and then this is 2019 and just fill up the details the skills what skills do you have um as a web designer wordpress experience level experts when you finish each of these you click on add you can now pick another option in front of the suggestion here if that is what applies to you i'll click on php experts and i'll add it also and then when i'm done with that section i'll come back to education this is what i was telling you so you pick the school you went to but this is optional all these ones are optional you can see Wherever it is red asterisk, that means it's compulsory. No asterisk means optional. So I'll be skipping them all since they are all optional. Then you need to connect your social accounts, but this is also optional. So I'll skip it. Then here you will need to verify your email and add a phone number. For security reasons, Fiverr wouldn't let you operate without a functional full phone number. So once you're done, you can click on continue and create your profile on your first gig. And then you can go on to create your profile. But for training purposes, I wouldn't be confident because um, I don't have the phone number to add up there. So let's go back to fiber.com. And I'll be explaining um, more things to you. So let's show you how the user comes. When the user comes to the platform and they need a website design, they will search for website. design and they'll hit search and you can see can you see how much these guys are charging can you see how much these guys are charging can you see let's just, let's just check this guy's profile so you see how he structured his pricing Okay, a $70 price, a 100 Okay, these are several gig, and this is a guy in Nigeria right here. So you can see, and he's making money creating websites for people. So let's go back. So now you believe that it's possible anywhere you are in the world, Nigeria, overseas, people can pay you to get their websites done for them. And let's check these guys. Digital Ministry. You can see Digital Ministry is a design studio. So you can see how much they are charging. You can see their premium price. Can you see how much people are making? So you will have to create your gig once you are done setting up your profile. And it's a very simple process. Everything is step by step for uh, for this training purpose i wouldn't be able to show that like i said but in my other trainings you would see it all so once you you create your gig you will be able to add a description this is your gig title you create your gig title you add a gig description this is the gig description for this gig down to here so what i will advise you is when you're getting started if you do not want to stress yourself go to an existing gig profile from someone who's already doing fiverr on the platform go there copy their gig description copy everything they do and it's as simple as that you can see this people charge see how many orders they have in queue see how many logos they have designed and they have been doing this since several years let's check their profile they have been here since 2013 and they've been doing this for a very long time so you can see how much money can be made on this platform okay so this is where you structure your pricing and when you're creating your gig it's very explanatory you will see how to sort everything out 
and scroll down here you can see the different packages and the details so the customer comes they see what each of the package entail they see how it can be done they see what they are getting and then they pay you they can just click here select this make payment and it's all money goes to you and here is where i talked about the review and the breakdown this is a very important part of your gig and if you have a poor performance on your review side of it customers will run away from you so the advice is keep your review above your total rating should never go below 4.2 try to stay between 4.9 to 5.0 to 4.8 if you're going low 4.5 4.6 never let it drop to 4.0 because customers will run away from you so these are reviews from people who use this service and they are extremely extremely satisfied with what they got and you can see you can see that they recommend him and when a customer comes there and sees this thing the customer will be like wow this guy actually knows what he's doing and they're willing to put their money on you because there is a competition on fiverr so your aim is to stand out by being unique by showing you know what to do and by putting in your best in, um, 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 in whatever you are delivering for your clients. So I hope these um, um, could help you understand better. And um, I'm glad that you watched this training to the end. If you have any question, you have any comments, you need to know more, you can always drop a comment on the comment section on this vlog below. And feel free to ask questions and I or Victory will get back to you. So thank you for watching this training video and hopefully we'll get to have more interactions and you get to hear more from me. So see you.